Hello, my name is Daniel Gopar, and this is the third video in the Jangular REST framework in AngularJS tutorial. So in this uh, video, we're still going to be working on the project uh, structure and editing some settings. And then after that, we are going to do, do a little bit of the Django REST framework. So we're going to start working on that. Just a little bit on this video, though. So sweet. First thing we got to do is go into our apps directory. And if you do ls, it's simply going to be the uh, app that we created commands. So first thing what we got to do is create two new directories. The first one is going to be a static. Now static is going to hold all of our CSS, JS, fonts, and all whatever stuff uh, else goes in here. So you get the idea by CSS, static, and fonts. So basically all that good stuff. So we're going to do static, CSS, and then static, uh, JS. So there you go. So now if we do tree on a static, there you go. So sweet. The next one is templates. And basically what templates is, uh, this guy right here is going to hold all of our HTML files. But since this is going to be a SPA single page application, we're only going to have our index.html in there. And we'll add that in uh, in the next episode or so. That way we can start showing something at least. Instead of, you know, just getting pretty boring configuring the project layout and whatnot. All right, cool. Now, after this, um, what we have to do is edit our base.py file that is inside of our settings. So if we go base.py, it's inside the config slash settings slash base.py. All right, now let's go in there. So if we go into the templates right here, oops, templates right here, and then we go into a uh, DERS right here, and inside of the uh, list, we're going to do os path join base dir app slash, um, what was it? Not templates. Uh, I'm editing the templates, but adding static. Wow, where'd you go, bro? Yep, that's pretty much it. And yeah, that's for that part. Now, this is telling Django to look for the templates, also including in this directory. So Django is going to look for them in some places, but it's also going to include this in, the, in its search. So sweet. Now, let's go all the way to the bottom of this file and right next to the static. And we are going to see static files. Oops, can't even spell. Files, ders, equals, bracket. So this is going to be a list as well, and this is going to be basically the same as the top one, uh, baster, apps, and then uh, static. There you go. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Now let's run it and make sure that it actually still runs. So sweet. So yeah, so if I go to this URL right here, localhost, and go up, ta-da, it's still there. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. All right, awesome. Now that we have all of that, let's go back into our, uh, oops. Let's go back into our shell. And uh, let's go back into our commands application. So sweet, we're in here. We do ls. We still got the good stuff. Now, what we got to do next for Django REST framework is create something called a serializer. Now, serializers are basically they help you in a way that they receive input from uh, a request. So for example, I make a request to the server, it's going to intercept that, it's going to serialize it, that way Django can play with it. And then once Django is done playing with whatever and it creates an output that we want to give to the user, we pass it to the serializer and the serializer does this little magic like convert it to JSON or whatever and then spits it back out. That's pretty much what a serializer does in a nutshell. So let's go ahead and create that serialize serializers. I think that's how you spell it. It better be serializers. Dot py. All right, cool. Now that we have that, we are going to um, edify. Yeah, we're gonna edify serializers. Oops, serializers. So we just created that file, and what we're gonna do is do from. Uh, no, that's actually wrong. Yeah, from res framework import serialize serializers. Dang it. Okay, cool. And we're gonna do from dot models import command. So that's the one that we just created the commands. All right, cool. Now that we have that, we're gonna create our serializer class for the command. So it's gonna be command seri Alizer and I can never spell serializer for some reason. Model modal 
materializer. Why is this? All right. All right, cool. Now we're going to do class meta. Meta. And we're going to say model equals command. And we're going to say the fields that we want to show is all. Oops, that's got to be a lowercase. There we go. So, okay, let me break it down. This is what's going on. So we import the serial class from REST framework to help us out. We import the command uh, model that we just created. So obviously that's going to be the serializer that uh, it's going to be working with. And then we create a new class from uh, this thing called Moto Serializer. So from the REST framework. And basically we got to give it some stuff to get a little head start. So we give it create a meta class and we say, okay, here you go. The model that you're going to be working with is called command. And that's the one that we created. And next, it says the fields that I want you to show and receive, and we can also edit them. Like for example, in passwords, we only want to receive them, and we want them to be read only, um, and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, write only. Then uh, we can do settings like that, which we'll do later on the video. So, if we leave this out, for example, let's say it does it didn't exist, Python would still know that uh, the to display all the fields since it doesn't find any uh, configuration it says okay I'm just gonna display everything but uh, for me uh, I like explicit so instead of just saying leaving someone else that doesn't know Django or is learning I'd rather say that hey I'm including all the fields that's just my mentality you can you can leave it or take it out or whatever or leave it or whatever it's all up to you man okay um, that's pretty much it hopefully that made sense now after that we're going to move into the serializer files oops the serializer i mean to the abuse file now right here basically is it this is kind of like for the api stuff as well so we're going to do from rest framework dot view sets import model view oops view set i believe that's type that's right i have no idea why auto completion isn't working well, from serializer, import command serializer. At least I get partial, that's better than nothing. From models, import command. And there you go. And my neighbor's being loud outside. I don't know if you can hear that. Hopefully you can't. All right, class, command, view set. So there we go. We create a view set for the command as well. And basically what we're going to do is serializer class equals command serializer. So we're saying, okay, when you're going to do any type of input and output, for example, receive requests and send re uh, outside responses, use this serializer class for all of that. And Python will know what, what you're talking about. Also, the next thing that we're going to do is do overwrite a method called get query. And I'll explain what it does, but first let's just type it out. Command dot objects dot filter self dot request dot user. Okay, cool. Uh oh no, query set. There we go. No wonder that no wonder that didn't look right. Get query set. So this is what it's saying. Okay. Whenever somebody makes a request to to the API, I want you to look at the model command and I want you to filter all of those models all of those little commands that we have in the database by whoever issued the request so for example in this app I'm going to be using auth tokens so Python is going to look at the auth token then look at the users that we have in the database and basically relate to them so this token matches this user so I'm just going to display all the commands from this user that's basically what it's saying that's pretty much right there in a nutshell that single line does that so sweet that's pretty much it and I think that's enough for now and I'll continue next on the on the following video thank you very much